Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Clay Ramage. Um, today we're going to do a what's sold video. I'm just going to cover all the items that I sold on eBay um, recently. And um, February has been a very slow month on eBay. And part of that's probably my fault because I haven't listed as much. I'm behind on listing. It's been a busy month. I've been, yeah, just been busy. I haven't had a lot of time to list things like I should. Um, but yeah, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, uh, I'm a part-time reseller and sell things on eBay. And I have an antique booth and um, also just sell things through Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, those kind of things. So anyway, let's just get right into this. Um, the first items in February was this Jared Jeff or Jeffy handcrafted pottery mug. Uh, he makes these to make them look like they were broken and repaired. There's a Japanese technique that fills um, breaks with um, gold paint, you know, or it kind of highlights the breaks in it. And he kind of um, imitates that technique. And there's his signature on the bottom. Um, and so I picked, I don't even remember where I picked this up um, and uh, sold, for, sold it for $20 plus shipping. So that was a good deal. Um, oops, I got that one twice. Uh, the other thing, these I picked up at the bins. These are four little E.T. figurines from the 1980s, 1982, um, when the movie first came out. There were three different figurines, two of the same one with the telephone, and these are really hard to try to capture the printing on the bottom, but I tried to do that. So these four figures sold for $12.99 plus shipping. I almost always charge for shipping. I don't do free shipping. Um, this one I found at the bins. This is this Holt Howard pedestal cup, very 1970s style. This actually sold to a viewer, so thank you, Pat, for buying this. And um, hope you're enjoying your coffee out of it. It's a great cup. Um, this is a handkerchief. As you guys know, for some reason, I tend to do well with handkerchiefs. Um, and this one is... I cannot pronounce the designer's name. It's Christian Austin Gouville or something like that. Uh, it's got uh, a piece by Mozart on it, um, Minuetto. And, oops, there's his signature. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think I picked this up at, at, this, at a thrift store. Um, but it sold for $20 plus $4 in shipping. So can't beat that because um, I think I paid 50 cents for it. Um, this I picked up at the bins. It's a little mouse, cast iron, painted green mouse ring holder. He does have jeweled eyes. Uh, he was like almost in perfect condition. He was an amazing shape considering, you know, he was, you can see just at the bottom there, there was some chips along on the paint. But that's the only place where the paint was um, broken. Um, so sold for $20 plus shipping. Yeah, it was a great deal. Um, this one I picked up at the bins. It's a, a Jonathan Adler pocket book purse zip um, item. And it was interesting because the um, seller contacted me because in one of the photos, it's not that one. It's in this one, I think. You could see, oh, here, it's in this one. You could see this little spot, a little ring on it. She wasn't sure what that was, but that's actually a manufacturer's mark next to that dog um it's just a circle with it's a silver circle you know dotted circle kind of thing well i don't know it's kind of weird but uh they bought it other than that it was like in perfect condition so good sale this was a pair of binoculars sold it these i got at the bins also so again i paid dollar dollar and 50 for this uh sold for 15.99 and the lady <laughs> gave me feedback you know like a month after she got them or something and not a month, but a couple weeks later, and said, my grandkids love playing with these. So that was fun. I'm glad they went to a good use. Um, this uh, lamp, some of you guys may remember this. I picked this up at the bins, too. This I also um, sold to one of my uh, viewers, and thank you very much for that. Um, so, yeah, I sold that for $34.99 plus shipping, which I was really nervous about shipping that. Um, but it worked out well. And I, because it was so heavy, I did ship it... Um, flat rate in a flat rate box and that worked out really well um so yeah so that's good and these are some vitamin 
B supplements that actually my wife had bought. So these are our personal stock, but then she has another <clears throat> supplement that she's using that already has vitamin B in it. So she doesn't need the extra. So we sold those. Um, sold those for $12.99 plus shipping. Um, these Christmas mugs, this is kind of a sad story, but actually one of my viewers actually asked to buy these Santa mugs. So I put them out on eBay and literally just moments before she bought them, somebody else bought them, tragically. Um, so again, this is one of those things that happen, I guess. And I'm learning to list things differently if they're for someone specific. So, but yeah, sold those for $20. Again, I found those at the bins. It's a good find. Um, I found these two Christian Dior candlesticks um, at our local thrift store. Uh, they were, what were they? They were $3.99. No, they were $2.99 each. So for $5.98, plus I had a 20% off coupon. So I got them for less than $5, sold them for $25 very quickly, like in with a couple days of listing them. So that was a good deal. And I was surprised that they had those Christian Dior candlesticks that inexpensive um this i found at the bins this is a vintage monogram embroidery guide it's just a tiny little part this actually shipped internationally along with those christian dior candlesticks two different people but they both went international shipping so if you're not offering international shipping uh it's a good deal i do it through the global shipping program so all i do is send it to kentucky and they take care of everything else um and i've had super good luck with that um, you know, it's probably 10% of my sales are now international sales. I'm amazed at how many sales I get internationally. Um, so yeah, and certain things I don't allow to go international. Um, and I don't allow international returns either. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> I'll skip this one. Um, I just opened up that window and I shouldn't have. Anyway. Um, this my wife had purchased thinking it came with the the uh, system to display it. It's it's for stargazing, I guess. It's some sort of device that projects stars onto your walls or ceilings. And um, she uh, didn't realize it didn't come with the machine to display it, so she just got the disc. And um, so I, she paid $10 for it. I sold it for $10. And uh, so it's a break-even proposition on this one. And let's see. Oh, this is a, a bottle of perfume I found at the bins. Um, it's a vintage bottle. Uh, it was like, I would say about a um, uh, little over a third full. Um, but I sold that for $19. And perfume, if you don't know, needs to always ship via ground. Um, according to regulations, they do not want it shipped via air because of the possibility of explosion because it's alcohol based um so it always costs a little more to do it that way um because i ship it via ups ground and i have had perfume go missing so anyway it's just one of the things that if you are going to be listing perfume you need to be aware of there are some restrictions on some items when you're shipping so these i found at the bins i actually missed getting these in my haul video i realized after i was done with the video they were <laughs> sitting on the side of the desk and i missed showing them. But these are some, you know, for cap guns um, from like the 60s and 70s when I was growing up. We had these little caps that you could put in there and get a real pop out of your cap gun. So these were two small packages um, that I found and sold them for $9.99. Again, I probably paid 10 cents for both of them. So for $10 plus shipping, um, I made some good money on those. Um, these are some t-shirt transfers, vintage from the 1980s. Some of you may remember I picked up a whole box full of these, um, for free. They were free at a garage sale my wife and I went to. And I've probably made over $100 on these t-shirt transfers, selling them for between $3 and $4. Because I give discounts if you buy multiple quantities. I have them listed at $3.99, but if they buy, you know, more than, I don't know, two or more, then it drops, you know significantly as you buy more depending upon I don't and it's not like I have a lot of each one but um so yeah so these oh I guess these I had listed at $4.99 each but because they bought so many they got a 25% discount so I sold for $374 plus shipping um so yeah 
So that was that was an incredible deal, and I still have a lot of transfers left that I have not listed. I'm probably not going to list them. I'm just going to put them on Facebook Marketplace and see if I can't sell them locally. Um, another item I found at the bins was this Batman comic book. This is really one of the novel type books. It's much thicker, larger graphic novel. Um, sold that for ten dollars plus shipping. No, that was with shipping. That was one of the rare cases. Anyway. Um, I found a whole set of this dishware. This is a John B. Taylor who is fairly collectible. He's known for this grape and vine style um, pottery. And I found cups and plates. Um, the problem was a number of them had issues. So I just picked up two cups. Um, and they do have a lot of, you know, like utensil marks in them that I didn't even attempt to clear out. I just listed them. And so I sold the two cups. I still have the plates left, but the two cups sold for fifteen dollars plus shipping. So um, I was pleased with that. I paid I paid up for these for, for me at least. I paid a dollar ninety nine each, so two dollars each. But again, you know, I'm making ten dollars on them. That's a good deal. This um, sphere I found at the bins, um, and this sold actually to a you know, stayed here in Minnesota, which is kind of cool. Um, it was this brass stand, which is made in Hong Kong. And then the um, sandstone ball, um, which is really cool. So, so yeah, I probably paid three dollars for it just because of the weight. This particular um, kid's coat was my mom's, and uh, so I was selling it for her. So we sold that for twenty-two dollars forty-nine cents. It's a nineteen eighties version, um, you know, smaller jacket, but it was new condition. Still had the price tag on it so <laughs> so that was a good deal and I sold another vintage hanky this is one that I found at a garage sale last August it's part of that lot that I picked up for a dollar and I've sold probably $120 um, I made $120 off that one dollar investment so vintage hankies are a great deal um, this one still has the tag on it it was a um, do I have it? yeah here's the it was the hanky of the month. <laughs> so there you go, back when it was issued. Um, this duck pencil sharpener, it's a Holt Howard. It's actually a pencil sharpener. So these are fairly rare. Uh, 1958 is even stamped, the date stamped right on it. And um, I got this from an estate sale of a friend of mine uh, who's, you know, clearing out the family home. So sold that for $22.49 plus shipping. And it was in perfect condition. That's the great thing about it. Um, no, oh, come on. Go away. And then I also picked this one up at the bins. Um, this is a vintage lure. This is a pumpkin seed sunfish lure. Quite popular. This is like in excellent condition. Um... And I sold this for, I took best offer, and I took, I sold it for $30. Considering, again, I probably paid 25 cents for it, I was quite thrilled with $30 for a fishing lure. Um, this vintage sifter I just picked up, listed it on eBay, and sold it uh, within 24 hours. Sold it for $12.99 plus shipping. Again, this is, it's just an adorable floral sifter, so... Um, yeah, let's see, next item, uh, sold this lot of vintage frames, several of them made in Italy, and, um, these are larger size ones, these are 13 and a half tall by like 10 and a half wide, so they are, were quite large, um, and they also sold here to a local Minnesota person, so that was cool. Um, sold this. I picked this up at the bins, and those frames I picked up at the bins, and these all of these Shakespeare books I picked up at the bins. There's a set of eight. I only found six of them, um, but they were all in incredible condition, considering they're from the 18, probably 1895. Um, and I sold this lot for fifty dollars plus shipping, and because it's I could ship it media mail, it was much cheaper. So uh, I was tempted to keep these just because they're beautiful books. The bindings were awesome. Um, you know, leather with the gold tooling on them. So, all right, getting way too many um, messages. Anyway, 
Here's the last item I sold were these Chuck DeHaan prints. There's a set of three of them. I also got these at the bins. And um, what was interesting, they're still in the original sleeve with the certified copy with the seal by the publisher. Um, there are three prints in this set, all of them signed and numbered by the artist. And the person who bought them sent me a message. It happened to be the niece of Chuck DeHaan. She said, and she has a lot of his works, but she did not have this particular set. So she was very excited to find them. Um, I probably paid two and a half dollars for them. So sold them for $187, which was awesome. Um, and um, yeah, so that was a big sale that's helped to uh, boost my February sales to a little higher level. <laughs> Because like I said, they were February sales have been pretty slow for me. Um, and it's like, they're like half of what I normally have by this time of month. But anyway, that's okay. Those things happen and you just plan for them and you go. And that's what we sold in February. Although I do have the auction results, um, which I also wanted to um, give you guys while I was here. Um, I don't have pictures of them, but I can't. Well, let me see. I'm going to see if I can tack it on. I'm going to stop the video and see if I can find those and tack it on. Hold on. Now we're back with the auction results. This is the auction page. These were my three items. First one was this Brunel Nouvelle kitty print. Let's see if I can make this bigger. Oh, there it goes. Um, and I picked this up at a thrift sale or a thrift store for $2.99. And it sold for $1,000. This is my highest profit item ever. Very excited about that. That was a good deal. Um, very happy about that return. Here is another one. This is a Stephen Chase. He's a local Minnesota artist. This was made in 1975. It's an original watercolor. I was hoping this one would do a little better. Uh, it sold for $40. But this is out of my personal stuff. I picked this up for my decorating my office. I don't even remember where, when, where, or how much I paid for it. Um, so it was to me just free money. In this particular case it sold for $40 and then I put together this lot of pottery. There's these Karen Carnes, uh, three pieces, four pieces, um, and then this Richard Abnett um, lidded jar. Um, so and those sold for $80 for the lot of those. So, uh, you know, after paying auction fees and all that, I'm going to clear about $950 out of this lot, which is awesome. And uh, they were pieces that I just had sitting around. And now I'm going to have some cash in my pocket as a result. So, yeah, very pleased with those auction results. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And we will catch you next time.